Buenos dias, just finished my shoulder workout, taking my morning walk. My son Micah, my dog Ghost. We're walking through a neighborhood in Nicaragua. And uh, my shoulder workout is nice and quick, it consists of four exercises, uh, including the warm up. I warm up with support holds on the rings, and I do military press, lateral raises, front raises, and then uh, reverse flies. And that's all, all once it's a failure. All these exercises should take less than 20 minutes. And I do this because I'm a busy father and I'm starting businesses in Nicaragua. So I wanna be able to consistently work out, feel like working out and uh, workouts that take 20 minutes or less are all you need. Anything more doesn't let your muscles recover. And the shoulder, the shoulder press is one of my lifts for my bulking challenge. I'm bulking for the whole year. I'm gonna try and bulk for the whole year, or at least until I hit all my goals on my lifts. And my goal for shoulder press, military press, is uh, 135 for eight reps. So write down in the comments uh, what day this year I'm gonna hit 135 for eight on the military press. And, and watch the video to see where I am now. And also guess how heavy I'm gonna be uh, when I hit all my lifts and I'm going to put all the I'm going to put all the the rules and details to it for the challenge competition down below in the description enjoy the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my grip and forearm workout first thing I do is I warm up uh, I like to do the support hold uh, because I like to um, improve my my strength on the rings for future uh, ring workouts that I'm going to add after I get the ring muscle up uh, but you're able to just warm up with uh, for shoulders push-ups or just um, lifting a light light weight on the barbell on the military press shoulder press um, just to get the blood flowing and the muscles warmed up so I like to do the, the swirl like I said and uh, I'm going to do that right now Burns, it gets the uh, the muscles warmed up and the blood flowing. And now I'm going to move on to the roof. I'm back on the roof, and uh, I got 45 seconds on the support hold, which is not my best, but it's good. I weigh 118 today, and um, 45 seconds isn't too bad. I try to rotate my arms out a little bit more than than last week. And um, the next exercise I do is the military press or shoulder press. Uh, you can replace this with dumbbells or you can do it on a machine or even with cables. It's not important. The important thing is that you fail between eight and 10. Uh, your intensity is uh, very high. You go all the way to failure until you can't do any more. And then you do a drop set if you're by yourself and do as many as you can on the drop set to failure again. And if you have a spotter, they can assist you on the first set. Uh, to push out a couple more reps till you can't do any more. And then that's it, you're done. Last week I got uh, seven uh, with 115. So I'm going to try 115 again until I can do it uh, at least nine times. And then I'll add another five pounds. With the military press, it's hard to add weight week to week. It's a lot easier to add weight or reps on the bench press and deadlift and squats than it is on the military press.
So I'm going for eight. Only got seven. I'm gonna take ten out on each side and go again. I will see if I have improvement on the drop set. Always hold that last rep or push, push the last rep uh, for at least 10 seconds as long as you can. It's the most important rep. It recruits the most muscle fibers and uh, always lift controlled slowly up, slowly down. Remove all momentum out of your lift to keep the muscle under tension as long as possible. And I will see if I improved on my drop set because I didn't improve on my uh, first set. I'll be back for the next workout. I'm back with the next exercise. It's lateral raises. On the military press, I actually increased my, my drop set by one rep, which is, which is a good sign of progression. Uh, next week, I should be able to do eight on the military press or seven with at least four reps on the drop set. And I keep saying that I weigh 118, but I, I weigh 218, not 118. And uh, uh, next exercise, mil uh, lateral raises. On the lateral raises last week, I did 20 for nine, nine reps. And this week I'm gonna add 2.5 because of the lateral raises, it's hard to add weight. So I'm gonna do 22.5 and I should be able to get at least eight. And I'll do a drop set of uh, removing five pounds on each dumbbell. And just like all exercises, nice and slow and controlled, so up and down. No momentum, keeping the muscle under tension. All I can do is seven, and I drop. So I lost two reps just by adding 2.5. I keep saying it, but push on the last rep. Most important. And on to the next exercise. The next exercise is the, the front raises to work the, the front of the delts. The lateral raises work the, the outside of the delts. 
And then the next exercise is going to be uh, bent over to work the back of the delts. And then the, the military press uh, worked as a compound movement worked uh, the majority of the, the front and the top of the delts including the triceps and some other smaller muscle groups. So last week I did uh, 22.5 for 10. So I'm going to do 25 and I'm going to try and get eight. Fuck. Take the fucking dumbbell. Okay, seven, drop it by five, and go again. And that's it, one set, all out failure. Move on to the next one. Don't waste time, don't fuck around. Just do that. I'm back with the last workout, our last exercise, and that's uh, the bent over, I don't think it's called bent over, I think it's called uh, re reverse flies. So I bend over and I do reverse flies. And uh, with this exercise, it's a little bit different because you can do partials. All I can do is pick a weight that I can do maybe like eight strict movements on it and then I can do the partials up to 15 and then I'll drop 10 pounds on each one and then I'll do 10 reps and then hold the last rep and that seems to be working on on this exercise so this is a uh, 27.5 15 and I'll take off 10 pounds go again I hold that last rep and really feel it in the rear delts. There's nothing like it. 
And that's it. This whole workout should take less, less than 20 minutes. One set on each workout. And that's it. Go on with your day. It's no point of fucking around for hours in the gym. And let me know your thoughts below.